and welcome back to some more of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So last time we did this quest called Kingmaker in which we basically met the king, supposedly the nobleman last thane of East Anglia who is gonna be the king I guess and yeah he's gonna marry a Danish woman and before that happens though the brothers of the Danish woman are not very happy with it, so they're just being annoying, honestly. Uh, we invited them to a party, uh, a feast or whatever, and we ended up beating their ass, and they walked away then. So let's see how that goes. Uh, we need to meet Oswald again now. Also, I have two skill points that I can use, so... Let's use them. I guess with these many skill points, I can complete the complete wolf, uh, wolf tree. Clear the mess in the longhouse and wake my brothers with the coldest water you can find. Eivor, good to see you. You are Oswald's powerful bride to be, Valdis. I'm not his. This marriage is to be an alliance, nothing more. Besides, the man can barely carry a sword or speak with conviction. <laughs> Oswald is many things, but a gifted leader he is not. Still, of everyone I have met here, he is the only one willing to be responsible for the place. I will leave you to your day. You can find Oswald by the docks. And watching the river calms him, apparently. Good morning. Up bright and early. You can labor like a thrall, but you're no good with feasts. Not a good start for a king. No, indeed. I find a solitary comfort in my menial labors. Not something a king should admit to, I suppose. The brothers shamed you at dinner. It's your duty to answer their insults. Don't let the matter lay unresolved. Oh, it was a petty row with henhouse wolves. I'd sooner answer the moo of a cow than worry about their insults. I have a wedding to plan and a kingdom to save. I haven't time to suffer fools. They betrayed your hospitality, Oswald. Where I'm from, that's a grave insult. Well, well. Here's the mud-soaked Saxon who's been taxing my patience. Ah, uh, steward Finnair. I know I failed to impress at dinner yesterday eve, but fear not, the Danes will come around in time. You stay claim to the throne, you dazed dog with no bone. If Lord Halfdown were here, he'd squeeze ale from a stone. Yelling, Pinner, my dranger, stick this cur in the ground. All mewling and spitting, here's Finnir, the hound. He has bark, but no bite. Just a puppy I've found. <laughs> what just happened? That's flighting, Oswald. Using rhythm and rhyme to lay a man flat. Try it. Match his verse. There's no man you can lead, you dunce of the thirds. Uh, what a glutton you are. Just stop eating your words. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> We're teaching him flighting. Make fun of his looks. He's got the wit of a boa, so when he insults you, make him feel stupid. When I'm done with you, Kerr, you'll be raven flock food. But your brain's soaked in mead, and your head's made of wood. Wood! Heads made of wood. Under all that tough posturing is a sniveling boy. So dig deep. When he brags, take a jab at his manhood. 
I've sailed squalls and north winds. You, not even a breeze. But the winds that you sail... Blow between both your knees. Blow between both your... Oh, you mean farting. <laughs> He's an ugly puss, so when he brags, hit him back with something about his looks. I hail from the north, where the winters are seasoned. But you're foul. You're a blister. You're a... a... Plague-ridden lesion. <laughs> yes, that's very good. Plague-ridden lesion. Oswald, my boy, you're useless without your raven. This was wrong for the throne. He's too soft and too tame. Go on, give some back. About his height this time. You claim you're a Dane, but your bloodline is stained. A wee dwarf must have ravished your mum in the rain. Uh. Uh. <laughs> well spoken. Before sword clash and blood flow, we destroy our enemies with well-timed words. You have a talent for verse, I'll give you that. But how long will that silver tongue hold up against an iron axe? Let's find out, Finir. I challenge you to a home gang. You don't mean that, Oswald. That's a fight to settle disputes, no? A home gang. A fight to the death, yes. Let's talk it out, then. <laughs> Too late. The challenge has been made. But a fight against Finir would not be anything to boast about. You'll fight me. Hold on. This is... That said, I should not be seen killing a Saxon in the streets of Elmenham. There's a nice islet down river, near Seahenge. The water will wash the blood clean away. Prepare the square, and we'll meet you there. I hope you're ready. Oh, I have to be. Just give me a moment to mentally prepare. Do not make us wait long. It would not be kingly. Are you ready for the home gang? I hope so. I just need to prepare. I'll meet you with the islet. Long have I waited for the chance to serve one of... I will eagerly await your return, Avon, and the glory to come. Of Norseman.
Tussle with care. Go easy on the future king. He's the only man left who can claim the crown. Kings are made, not born, Finir. So let us see what we can make of Oswald. Measure of Norse. <laughs> I've been in East Anglia many summers now, but I'd always be a Dane. Must we do this, Abel? Strength and courage are always a boon, Oswald. You'll need both if you want the Danes to accept you as a king. True strength comes from resolve, Abel. It speaks to us, a stern voice from within. I have never heard of talking guts, but a swift axe would silence that inner voice in seconds. You must be prepared. Wait, you're an arm. Just do your best. I'll be fine. Ah! We will forge a king out of you yet. Don't hold back. <laughs> Felt that one. I'm still here. I'm I'm still breathing, aren't I? Show me what you can do, Saxon. Finish this 
Savor, it pains me for what? You want me to fight? I think I was supposed to win, or was I supposed to let him win? Victor, but you've shown us something, Oswald. Stay down, Oswald. That's enough. I will. I will not stay down. You fought bravely, not with great skill, but with spirit and courage. Always push back with everything you have, even if you have to get dirty, even if you must break the rules. Because there are no rules. Not if you answer a challenge head on. That's where honor lies. Not winning the fight, but living through it. A seaside brawl won't change the brothers' minds. Oswald must show results. Redress old wrongs. Fight back against Ruid and his men. The raiders who attack Beatley have a camp down the coast. The sooner we remove them, Better. That would go a long way to building you up. And if you brought gifts for the brothers, spoils from the raid, they'd be in your debt. Time to wet your blade, Oswald. Eivor, I expect your longship crew could help with this attack. No one has been willing to take a stand against Ruid's clan before. We're a kingdom of farmers and merchants. Even farmers and merchants can fight when led by the right person. I hope your faith in pig farmers is not misplaced, Abel. There is work to do, yes. But we will rise to meet Ruid's clan. God will make certain of it. Hold on. I must be careful now. You've done me a good turn. There may be prisoners here. Keep an eye out. If I see any, I will let you know. You have my gratitude. Well, that was kind of dumb. I already conquered this place, so. Everyone was already yeah, dead. That'll do nicely. Find something? There's a crate of hack silver here. More than enough to make everyone happy. We'll take it to the ship. A hard one fight. Really? The first of many, Oswald. Have you the will to keep it up? Give to the 
brothers. I have more than enough wealth in Elmham to widen their eyes, but this will be a symbol of my commitment to our fight. It's a good start. Take what riches you find to know the witch, then send for the brothers. I'll meet you there. Holy shit. So unfortunately guys this is where I'll be ending the video in the next one I'm gonna continue my journey of Assassin's Creed Valhalla This was a short video not gonna lie We're gonna continue Assassin's Creed Valhalla and we're gonna see what else the game has in store for us with that said see you in the next one. Bye